everything in the book, but I've already taken care of it. I've already done it. I've already done it. I've already set up the timeline for your blessing. I've already set it up. I've already got everything in order for you. I did not forget about you because I am Jehovah Jireh. I am a provider and I will provide for my people.
I don't know who this is for, but the Lord told me to tell you that mercy said no. Because there were things that were going to transpire, but mercy said no. No. Mercy said I'm not going to allow it to happen. Look at this. Because if I was to allow that to happen, then this would transpire, and that would transpire. And because of this one incident, it will be a snowball effect. And I can't allow that to happen. Because there are too many people and too many things involved. From this. So mercy said no. It can't happen. So you might as well throw out your mind and forget about it. Because no way that you try to cut it is a God going to allow it to transpire. See, there's something that we have to understand. And as a church body, see, people make mistakes. But you have to understand, when those people make mistakes, it doesn't affect your relationship with God. People make mistakes every day. You're not serving God because of this person. I'm serving God because of you. No, I'm serving God because I love God. And I can't, I can't let what somebody else does affect my relationship with God. But too many people allow somebody else messing up. People mess up. Things happen and people mess up. But you can't allow that to affect you. Your relationship with God. Yes. You have a relationship with God, and you can't let somebody else mess up. They mess up. They got to get that right. You can't. That, you can't. You can't just say, "Oh, I knew this was garbage," and walk away. You can't do that. If you have an established relationship with God, then you keep that relationship with God. You have to keep. Somebody's going through some things. People want to want to say, "Oh, they didn't messed up. They didn't messed up." Because somebody going through something, that don't mean they fell in sin. They might be going through something. They going through a test in time. That don't mean they were sinning. Yeah. Amen. Amen. My God, yeah. I don't understand where we get that from. Yeah. I've never felt that way. They going through the floor. They did something wrong. They been sinning. No. This is their testing season. Amen. Let them go through what they got to go through without you throwing rocks at them. That's right. That's right. Amen. Saying they did something wrong. That's right. Amen. Because after they go through what they went through, they going to look at you and say, they had not been for the Lord who was on my side when you tried to swallow me up and send me straight to the devil's hell because you was talking about Everything's going to 
Sometimes it feels like it. Sometimes it feels like we're all alone. Husbands don't understand, his kids don't listen. But look, when I was standing right there, and I put my arm around him, that was God putting his arm around you. Saying so I got you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.